Okay, so welcome back, everybody. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. It's the 29th of March, 2023. I'm recording a bunch of these uh, for our course community today. Uh, this is for the one-person agency or web design studio uh, course. And if you are looking for a great way of generating free traffic and creating great relationships with your professional peers or your niche neighbors or even folks in a local a community, affiliate marketing is probably the absolute best free strategy for incentivizing your audience and turning your audience into enthusiastic evangelists for your brand and your business. So in this a uh, really quick tutorial. We're going to look at uh, Lemon Squeezy. The, uh, the the they just released today to the public their affiliate program. Uh, I had beta access to this, so mine is already set up. I'm going to show you two different things. Video number one, which is this one, we're going to cover just creating your own affiliate hub profile. And video number two, I'm going to show you a very easy way of connecting with folks in whatever niche or area of interest or expertise you may already have throughout the lemon squeezy ecosystem and start to you know apply for uh partnership uh, you know programs that are available to you right now that will give you stuff to sell on day one uh you know within your niche your marketplace your vertical your industry or your locality again you have to understand that these are programs that other uh, folks like myself uh are you know creating for other entrepreneurs to promote our own products and and uh, programs content courses ebooks digital downloads etc so there's only you know so many other affiliates within the uh, you know, lemon squeeze the ecosystem or marketplace that I would be comfortable promoting. Lots of folks I'd probably pass on what they're selling, but you may find, uh, you know, you may have a different experience and you may actually have a lot more, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, entrepreneurs who are a good fit for whatever it is that you want to promote in your own business. I'm generally working in the mindfulness and the self-publishing spaces these days. So I'm not really interested in promoting like courses on SEO or, you know, courses on uh, AI or NFTs and things like that, which I think a lot of folks who are signing up, uh, you know, for affiliate programs using Lemon Squeezy thus far are promoting. Anyway, that all aside, here's what you do. You're going to go into the affiliate uh, section here in your dashboard. You can see, uh, you know, there are two different affiliate sections. One is for uh, finding other affiliates that you can promote or finding people and programs that you can promote as an affiliate. And the other here is uh, creating your own affiliate program for your own content, your own courses, your own products, etc. Now, I will also point out that I have a um, a little mini course that's called Refer Madness. It's actually Refer, R-E-F-E-R. -E -E it's a play on Refer Madness, but it wa walks you through uh, you know, a bunch of really innovative ways of incorporating affiliate marketing in your own brand and business very, very quickly. If you're interested in that, I'll have a link uh, to that below in, uh, you know, in the uh on YouTube, if you're watching this, if you're in the course community, I'll give that to you uh, as part of the course. All right, so here's what you do. Number one, this is toggleable. If toggleable is a word, I don't know, but you toggle this to enable your affiliate hub profile. You select a category from here. This is similar to starting an Etsy store, or you know, if you're familiar with that sort of, uh, you know, kind of uh, selections or options, etc. Uh, number three, you want to describe your uh, store in you know detailed uh, or in detail so that you can actually. Um, you know, encourage and, and, and excite other entrepreneurs or in your niche or your vertical to reach out to you and apply for your program. You can uh, set up your affiliate 
uh, program with a live link. So you'll see that in a second. I'll show that to you. This is important to me, auto approve new affiliates or not. I don't want to auto approve new affiliates. I want to hand uh, approve affiliates. I don't want just random people signing up for my affiliate program and then promoting uh, you know, my content to their community without knowing who they are and what they may or may not be saying or promising, et cetera. Here is a really cool affiliate tracking uh, script, which you're going to be putting into your uh, your the you know the head of your let's say WordPress or Ghost uh, site or whatever platform you're using. That's uh, you know it's going to be tracking uh, folks who land on uh, you know your site. It's going to be giving. I'm saying this badly. It it gives you another way of tracking your of you know your, your the referrals that are coming from your affiliates that aren't going directly to your lemon squeezy store so if you, let's say you have a popular wordpress site or a popular ghost blog or a membership site on circle or something you can send folks uh, to that community and with this tracking script installed it will track your members referrals to external sites other than just lemon squeezy here's where you set the, the minimum payout so you know I, I like to set this as low as possible some folks set this up at like you know a hundred dollars or whatever i i think that's cheating your affiliates if you're you know making the payout too high that or the minimum payout uh too high essentially you're kind of stealing from people because a lot of people will never get to like a hundred dollars or you know some higher minimum threshold and it de-incentivizes them from promoting your uh, program. I've had that happen to me where I sign up for an affiliate program uh, specifically because I know somebody like a one person use case who could use that particular product. And let's say, you know, I refer my client, they sign up and I find out later that the pay minimum payout is like $200 and the commission I earned was let's say 80 or something from that transaction. And I never get that money. And essentially the you know, vendor keeps that for themselves because they force you to have to re, you know, to keep re-promoting, uh, you know, to meet their minimum threshold, which I think is a fairly shitty thing to do. So I like to set this as low as possible or at least reasonably low, $5, $10 or whatever. All right, refer type, first refer, last refer. This is essentially who gets the credit for the commission, the first person who sends traffic to your site or the last, you know, again, there are arguments on both sides of this. I set this up as first refer generally, because I think that's most fair. Tracking length, you can set up, you know, as many uh, days as you like, let's say 60. So there are 60 days from the first visit that this person will get credit for the sale. If it doesn't convert within that 60 day period, then, you know, they don't get credit. So, you know, if someone comes on the 70th day and decides to buy this uh, refer doesn't get credit, you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. Again, I prefer to make it as fair and as um, empowering to the affiliate as possible. So longer is better than short. Here you can set the affiliate commission based on percentage or a flat rate. I think uh, percentage is uh, you know generally the right approach depending on what you're selling, of course. You can enable uh, commissions on subscriptions. In other words, if you're sell selling a membership style offer that recurs on a monthly basis, you have the ability to incentivize your affiliates that way as well. And then finally here, so you can see there are, oh, here's actually that uh, Reefer Madness uh, course, which is actually delivered on Pathrite, not on Lemon Squeezy. Uh, but nonetheless, this, this allows you to set different um, uh, commissions for different products. And that's really important because you can, let's say, give 50% a commission on a product uh, that may require no upkeep on your part, or it's an ebook or something. And then maybe you would you know, make a different a commission on something that requires a lot more of your effort, your time, your energy, 
et cetera, so that if it's a thousand dollars to work with you, let's say, you know, in a community of some kind, uh, you're not giving away half of that like you would on an ebook. Now, it is important to point out that much like Gumroad, uh, they don't want you selling services using an affiliate program. There are lots of, or, or on their platform, there are lots of workarounds for this. I'll share a few uh, with you if you're interested. So if you're selling straight web design, you don't want to use an affiliate program like Lemon Squeezy because they don't really uh, want that. They want something that's actually bundled within a download. So similar to Gumroad, uh, you know, you have to have a product that they can download that you know, triggers the affiliate program rather than just saying, you know, get a coaching call uh, with me. And, you know, that's really not the best use case or the normative use case for these sorts of platforms. You can do it by dint of incorporating, you know, like a coaching arrangement within a download. So if you download this book or download this course, you get access to me as part and parcel of that program, or you get access to a forum, etc. So that's, you know, these are good ways in which to, uh, you know, set this up uh, from start or from jump, and then you can make modifications as you go. For an example, uh, you can modify the amount of, uh, you know, earnings or the amount, the commission percentage by dint of each individual affiliate. So if someone's a really good affiliate or a good friend or a partner uh, and you want to incentivize them with a higher commission, you can say, you know, Joe Blow would get 50%. But again, you would make those changes on the individual affiliate level, not on the global level, which is here. Gumroad offers the same thing. I have not done that on Lemon Squeezy. Actually, most of the content that we're or that I'm actually offering on Lemon Squeezy is free. So these are generally just kind of like, um, you know, sort of like lead magnets for lack of the right word or, uh, you know, free content, free PDFs, free infographics, etc. I'm just basically giving shit away rather than selling uh, stuff thus far. But what I want to show you really quickly, if we copy this, you can see the, um, oh, there's my NFT store. All right. So here is uh, the landing page that you would send people, let's say in my case, become an affiliate. And it basically tells you a little bit about, you know, um, our program and then how to sign up to become an affiliate for our uh, community. All right. And you would have the same thing. And one of the really nice things about Lemon Squeezy is, as you can see here, there's a ton of different, like I have all these different stores. You can manage them all uh, from the, you know, for one central hub. So all of your stores, again, you can see here, have their own, you can just toggle them, uh, you know, one to the other, and it makes it very, very easy to manage your community. And if you have multiple things you're selling, let's say mindfulness uh, products in one community, business products in another, local, uh, you know, kind of like products for a different local community that's unrelated to the other two, you know, you have the ability to like do all this just by dint of toggling from one storefront to the next. And that's really, really a, you know, a super uh, advantageous reason or benefit to using this platform over something like Gumroad or one of the other analogs or alternatives. Okay, doke. Hope this has been helpful. No, I talk fast. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. I'm trying to keep these shorter because people complain about the length of my videos. And unfortunately, I'm just a talkative human uh, who has a little bit of ADD. Okie doke. Teach what you know, do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. Thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you have questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thanks.